Hi, this is Matt McIntosh and in this video we're going to look at importing motion capture. So go to your import, click on your FBX um, and make sure it is the FBX format. Under the include, make sure it's on add and under animation, make sure that this box is ticked. Click on OK and it will load it into the scene. Now it comes in with all these weird cameras and uh, random other bits. We don't want all of this, so we need to delete it out of the scene. So go to select by name, and it tends to be anything under system. Anything where you've named your character, it has a prefix in front of it. In this case, it's called Charlotte. Uh, we need to keep all that. But anything where it's uh, system Benita or un, uh, unlabeled markers, select them, and delete them out. Okay, so they're gone. So now what we need to do is create a um, biped sort of character uh, using the cat rig. So go to your cat rig, uh, cat objects, cat parent, and then select the base human and draw it so that it's at a rough size to your character. If it's not, you can always use the ratio tab to you know line it up so that it's roughly about human height. Okay, so now what we need to do is we need to convert the base spine sections. Uh, so if we go to the Modify tab, we click on the initial joint and turn the bones down to one. And then importantly, click on Keyframed and that will give you a keyframeable uh, spine. Do the same with the neck, so turn that to one and turn it to keyframed and you'll get this uh, options box just click on yes and now what we can start looking at doing is lining up the cat rig to the captured animation so go to this window click on your source objects select by name and where after the first part where it says charlotte it might be a different name for your guys but it's charlotte on this one and click on base human um, so that we get the cat rig that we're after. And now all we're going to do is start dragging and dropping the various elements into the cat rig. So Charlotte hips goes onto the pelvis and what you'll find is it comes in in a weird angle. So what we need to do is rotate this round uh, so that it's facing the right direction. If you don't do this, everything will screw up and you just won't be able to use your cat rig. So make sure you get this as lined up as possible with that initial uh, hip bone. Okay, so that should that should work now. So now what we need to do is line up the feet plate with uh, the left toe to base. So we drag that onto the platform for the left foot. And again, we need to just rotate these bits around so that they line up with the foot. <clears throat> I'm just going to move this um, okay. I'm just going to move this into position so that it lines up properly and I'm going to do the same with the other foot. Okay so that again that's right toe to base and we're putting that on the right platform and then just rotating it so that it fits in a more realistic kind of positioning. Okay, so I'm just going to give this a test to make sure that the legs are following the motion capture. And as we can see, we've got 100 frames here, and that seems to be following it quite effectively. So what I'm going to do is just expand my end time to 1000 frames, which should capture all the information. And then in the capture animation window, I'm going to change this to 1000 frames as well. If you don't, it will stop at the 100 point and you lose all the remaining information. Okay, so now that it's following that around, um, what I can start looking at doing is mapping the spine and the upper body. So I'm going to grab this uh, section for the spine. Uh, so solving spine. And I'm going to drag that into the spine slot. And there you go. That kind of pops the uh, spine into position for the cat rig. Just rotating it round so it lines up a little bit better. And I want to uh, 
put the solving head onto the rib cage and that pops that back into position and now for the actual head itself uh, it's this one called head end and we need to put that into the base human head and that kind of makes the head follow it round. Next we grab the left shoulder put that into the collarbone section the left arm to the upper arm the left forearm to the forearm and the left hand to the palm <coughs> again we can move these things around if they're a little bit out of shape um, I don't know how you go about kind of removing these things uh, but if you made a bit of a mess up you can kind of snap them back by uh, reapplying the, the situation okay so um, right shoulder to right collarbone right arm to right upper arm right forearm to right forearm and right hand to right palm and that should be what you require um, for the animation process so we'll click on capture animation and what we'll see is that the character's actually following it around pretty pretty well actually there's uh, there's very few glitches in there um, the main one is to do with the the rib cage but you'd sort that out on a separate layer so now what we can do is we can go through the selection menu select charlotte and the rest of it click on ok and delete it out of the scene and then we can play through the animation and there you go mocap on a cat rig if you save that as a clip file or a clp uh, you should be able to open that up on any cat rig now Okay, thanks for listening.